guys. Now, I know I should have brought this video out a long time ago. I know. I'm truly sorry. I know I have people in the dark. I know. It was a bit intentional. But the video is here now. So guess what? I have something to tell you. Something big that I've been working on. And yes, I know I've posted a few pictures hinting on Facebook here and there. Yep. But no more secrets. No more running around the bush or anything like that. This is a surprise. And what I've been working on and what I taught myself was a motion platform simulator. Yep. You heard that right. It's a motion platform simulator. This uh, sim is made by a company in Europe, more specifically in Ukraine. Um, they call themselves DOF Reality. And they make, you know, motion platforms. So the model that I have is the H2, which only um, has two axes. So that's um, H and row. So that's two axes. They do have a, a three-dimensional axis uh, model, which is the H3, and they do have the H6, which scores six different movements. Those six movements pretty much are um, H, then you have row, then you have um, yaw for those who fly, and that same movement is also um, in, in driving that actually simulates traction loss and that's pretty much when the wheels speed on the outside of a turn. And then we have up and down, that's another axis called um, mm -hmm. Then you have um, forward and backward, that's known as surge. And of course you have left and right, which is known as sway. So that's six axes in total. However, like I said, the one I have is the H2. And guess what? This thing is upgradable. So if I want, I can get the upgrade kit to go to the H3 if I want. And of course, upgrade to the H6, which I plan to do anyway in the future. And just a disclaimer, I actually bought this thing pretty much for a flight simulation. However, I know most of you would want to see this as a racing setup. So what I did, I went online and I bought a pretty expensive wheel, way over $600, just for this video so you guys can see what this motion platform looks like as a racing setup. So I bought none other than Thrustmaster's T300 RS GT Edition wheel and pedal set that comes with a detachable 11-inch metal wheel. It has a powerful force feedback dual belt-driven brushless motor and it sports two 5-inch metal paddle shifters for some good sequential racing. And since this is the GT Edition, it comes with Thrustmaster's T3PA GT Edition pedal set that has adjustable metal pedals with gas brake and clutch system. Now guys, guess what? I actually have a butt kicker installed on my motion platform. And this butt kicker gives me the ability to feel the different vibrations uh, the roar of the engine, the texture of the road, and everything like that. And those are DOF's two electric motors that gives you roll and pitch movement.
pretty cool, right? I know, pretty tight, right? I do say so myself. Anyway, you guys are going to want to stick around for this because we have come to the best part of this video and this is where you guys get to see this thing in action or better yet, motion. So, oh, and just a disclaimer, the intensity of this thing can be turned up and down. You know, you want more motion, you know, something more violent, you know, spicy or mild. You get my drip. Yeah, yeah, drip is car related. But anyway, oh, and another disclaimer, VOF Reality only sells the motion platform. So the accessories aren't included, things like the wheels, you know, the seats, stuff like that. Those things are something that you're going to have to buy separately, just like my bucket seat. Oh, and speaking about bucket seat, I went for a bucket seat because I want to make sure that my butt stays in place, especially when I'm going around those high speed turns. And another thing, it's a real car racing seat. Yep, you heard right. This rig supports real car racing seats. So you can go to any of your auto dealers, pick up a car seat, especially if it's a bottom mounted seat, and strap this down to your rig. So, without further ado, let's go for a spin. Or better yet, a ride.
that was pretty funny for that too. I wish you guys could have actually experienced it, you know, feel what I felt, you know, especially under VR or virtual reality. You know, it's, it's like you're here, you know, um, and emotion just adds to the, the immersion. I mean, it just, you know, complements it. So uh, it's, 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 it's totally mind blowing. So another thing I should add is that my intensity of the motion was at the default setting. So just bear that in mind. And um, for those who may not really want to go VR like I did, um, you could go with that triple monitor setup. Um, DOF actually gives guidelines, you know, if you want to go that route, even though the rig wasn't really designed for that kind of stuff. But anyway, there you have it. No more secrets. The secret is out now. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So until next time, peace out. So that's none other than Thrustmaster's TRX, Thrustmaster's T300 RS, sorry, T300 RS GT. So there you have it. Now, we have come to the best part of the show, the video actually, the best part of the video. Yeah, that sounds much better. The best part of the video.